And ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Freestone Raceway in beautiful Wortham, Texas for round five of the 13th annual Honda of Houston FMF Texas Winter Series. And with me by my side, I have national number 621, Van Martin. But now we've got some new sponsors that we'll talk about in just a second. Uh, so give us an update of what's happening with you. I know you're just coming off an injury. So tell us what's happening with Van Martin. Yeah, well, uh, I broke my wrist about, I'd say, seven or eight weeks ago now and uh, I've been riding pretty consistently for the past three weeks just getting back in my uh, supercross grind and getting on the schedule again and uh, making sure my wrist is 100 percent so I'm gonna test this week a bunch and uh, hopefully I'll be able to race St. Louis next weekend. So that's your first goal for your first uh, supercross east coast in the lights class will be uh, St. Louis and then of course for sure we'll see you at Reliance Stadium on April 6th. Um, so let's tell the folks, uh, you know, how you started out. What was your first bike? Uh, I started riding when I was three years old. My dad got me into riding, you know, and uh, I rode a PW50 around my neighborhood. There was a like, little grass, uh, little grass field behind my house. So I just started riding and really got into it. I started racing when I was eight years old and just loved it. You know, I fell in love with it and uh, really didn't start to take it serious. So I was about 13 or so and started stepping it up and training and riding a lot so really just started putting in work from there and now I got to where I am now and racing supercross and outdoors and stuff so I mean there's nothing I would have changed about my whole life so far. So I think you went from the PW50 I think well you got a CR60 maybe or no, did you jump to a CR80? I rode a KX65 for a while and then uh, yeah because Honda didn't CR. have any 60s. Yeah, yeah. And then I rode a 85 <clears throat> and then I jumped on a 150 when I was like 13 or so. And then 250, and then now I'm on a Kawasaki, so. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's been really cool to watch a young athlete like this for myself, to watch him grow up into the young man that he is. And the pinnacle of his career right now is entering the Supercross Wars into the big time. And I know your heart and soul is into it. You train as hard as anybody. You didn't homeschool. You went to school. You made good grades, and you were either working or uh, or training, you know, and I, I I commend you on all your ethics that you've done to get to this point. Yeah, you know, I've I've worked so hard my whole life, and people don't really understand where I like, came from. They think I've been spoiled my whole life, but I've worked for everything. You know, I know how to take a motor out of a dirt bike all by myself. So you know, I do all my own work. I went to school, graduated from public school a semester early. So you know, I've just been working my whole life, and uh, just it's starting to pay off for sure. Because I can assure everybody out there listening and watching this video that Sean Martin, his dad, is not the easiest on people. You know, he is very, he's got guidelines and rules, and you darn well better follow him. If you do, then he'll give you all the support and the help that you need, as he has with you and so many other riders that he's helped develop over the years. You yeah, know, that's for Which sure. is really cool. Well, let's talk about your new sponsors and who's helping you out and, you know, your Supercross debut. Yeah, I uh, signed a contract with JAB Motorsports about the beginning of this year, so it's been going really good. I'm on a Kawasaki 250F, so I've been riding a lot. I like it a lot. I, I really grew accustomed to it right away. It feels just like a Honda, so there wasn't much difference, you know, and uh, changed my gear up to Scott. I'm wearing a Shoei helmet, Garnet boots, and they all feel great, you know. I'm loving all my sponsors. They're all helping me out so much, and I just couldn't thank them enough so far for everything they've done already. It's just been awesome. So what about some of the other riders with JAB? Yeah, there's uh, on JAB Motorsports, there's Matt LeMoyne and Gannon on debt. Unfortunately, uh, Gannon crashed at, at Dallas last weekend and uh, hurt his hip pretty bad, so he might be out for a while, and Matt kind of hurt his knee. And so I'm really the only one that's starting to ride right now, so... Just going to hold it down for the JAB Motorsports team and do as best as I can. With uh, those two riders and, of course, Matt LeMoyne being a little bit older, a little bit more experienced riders, have you learned anything from these guys? Yeah, for sure. You know, Matt's helped me out. I stay at his house all the time, so I can't thank him enough, man. He's been such a hub for me. And uh, just me jumping into Supercross, he's taught me so much already. And just he has so much experience with it, and he just knows so much. So everything that he teaches me, I just... Uh, learn and kind of grow off that and teach myself some stuff by riding every day and he helps me a whole bunch so I can't thank him enough either. Yeah and I'll tell you what it, it takes a lot to get to the point where you're at it's so many you know I would say over the years you know 
many tens of people. You know, I don't say hundreds of people, but you know, there's it takes so much, and it, you know, it'd be hard to list. You know, it, they're probably throughout your whole career. There's probably a hundred people that have been instrumental to help riders as yourself to get to this point where you are. Yeah, definitely. There's people who help me. My trainer Cal Williams. He's helped me since I was getting off 150s, and he's especially one of the reasons why I grew to such a big name that I am now. And you know, just training so much and just pushing me every day has helped so much. And that's next level MX. Yeah, next level. MX. Hey, Kyle Williams. Good job helping all the kids. Um, well, I think that's a wrap. We want to thank you for coming up. And good luck to you. Hopefully you'll be good to go in St. Louis. And for sure we'll see you in Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, this is JP, the mouth of the South, and Van Martin. Look forward to seeing him live on Supercross.